What are we going to do about the second one? That's... That's good. Oh, it only negates monster effects. You thought you outplayed me. But in fact, I had you since the start. Monsters, not spells and traps. Hello everyone, welcome to a new Dr. Vash video where we are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And this time we're playing Centurion. So Centurion is one of my new favorite decks in Master Duel. It's a pretty simple deck. It can get to a lot of places, but the more you know about the deck, certainly the better you do. Um, so this is just one of the variants. You can, there are so many variants of this deck. Um, this is just the generic version where there's not really much extension, but our, we are going to be really consistent at what we do. So why, what makes this deck unique? This deck um, is a Synchro 12 Spammer. So in this variant of, this, of the Centurion, my goal is to get as many 12s out on board as possible, as fast as human, hu humanly possible. And um, a couple of huge board breakers on decks that we should expect. And another gimmick, we summon 12s, we summon 12s during our opponent's turn, and we can Synchro during our opponent's turn. And lastly, we also can, our monster is going to a spell and trap card zone as continuous traps which there's not that many decks in the game that can do this. So our entire goal is to do one play starters and with our one play starters is have a whole bunch of hand traps. This is the more hand trappy consistent version of the deck. There are a lot more versions of this deck and you can mix it in with so many decks. I've seen Centurion uh, Malefics, which might be a deck in the future. Uh, I've seen this deck with Centurion's Horus centurion's um u-bell like there is your imagination is the thing that will hold this deck back this is just the variant where we're running more banished cards and cards to stop maxi if you want you can run triple copies of dimensional fissure and triple copies of or two copies of the dimensional guy dimension shifter if you want to run dimension shifter you can run this deck on 40 cards i think um, dimensional Fisher is good enough. If you don't want to run Dimensional Fisher and you want to run, you know, D Shifter Raw, go ahead. I'm not really a big fan of that, but do, do whatever floats your boat. We also run one copy of Summon Limit because it, even though Summon Limit does hurt us, it hurts our opponent way more. So let's hop into some, hop into the deck profile. So first we have Psyframe Engine because when I made this deck, I was so sick and tired of Maxi that I run every counter, every feasible counter to Maxi. So um, that's why we're running two copies of Psyframe here, Gamma. And if they try to Maxi, we're going during our turn, which always happens, we're going to summon Psyframe Lower Omega and snipe a card at their hand. We do not need to run Psyframe, um, Psyframe Lord Omega. You can run, you know things like Triple Tactics Talent to get the same thing done. I just want the ultimate flex. I am that done with Max C. I run every counter to him. And then we have triple copies of Max C because I hate him, but I have to join the gang. Three copies of Ash Blossom for literally only Max C. Um, triple copies of Centurion Primera. We can have this card as a continuous trap to protect our Centurion monsters. If not, we can summon it, and then uh, this card is summoning add one Centurion card from our deck to our hand. And normally you add the field spell, if you have the field spell, you add something in. And during the main phase, either player's main phase can summon this card. So this is pretty much the only, the only tuner in our deck, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, I wish there was more tuners in the deck. They need another tuner. I don't really care if it's a... Uh, if it uh, even has a good effect, it, they just need a, a tuner on board. And then we have triple copies of Centurion Trudea. Trudea is a one card combo, just like Primera. Or Primera. So with Trudea, you put this card back in, on summon, you can put this card back into the spell and trap card zone. Then you can put um, Primera, or if you have Primera, you can summon Primera at the field spell. It is, and then the field spell lets you put Trudea down. 
again, this deck has infinite synergy. We, we can keep doing this for days. Then next we have Centurion Emeth. He's just a Centurion card, just a high level one. If he's in the graveyard, we can push one of our cards back to the Spell of Trap card zone, summon him from our graveyard during our opponent's turn. And then um, the next card is Centurion Gargoyle. Gargoyle's effect is we can send one face up Centurion card to the graveyard, supposed to summon this card for a hand, but then you can't summon it for the rest of the turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material, it returns back to our hand, so we can get back our hand, hand recursion. And outside of that, he's just a high level eight. Then we have Nibiru, the primal being, which he's just in here mostly for cross out and so that we have an actual interrupt with Maxi where we can stop our opponents from doing stuff. Uh, prosperity, just in case our hand is trash. Bonfire to search out Trudea. And then we have Stand Up Centurion, which is the field spell. I love the artwork in here. So, um, Stand Up Centurion on activation during the main phase. This card is activated. We can send one card for a hand to the graveyard. Then you can place any Centurion monster for, to our spell and trap card zone as a continuous trap. And then, if a monster is special summoned, I can immediately synchro summon using monsters I control, if me or my opponent. Uh, so, it's, it's really powerful two copies of Dimensional Fissure. So Dimensional Fissure is just mostly here because the best types in the format like monsters in the grave and this really interrupts them. Two copies of Super Poly. It gets rid of um, all pretty much both of the tier one decks right now. U-Bell, if U-Bell pulls up a crazy board, we can fuse their entire board away and make the loving defender, U-Bell the loving defender forever. And if we're playing against other stuff, these two will cover them. And then we have two copies of Called by the Grave, one copy of Cross Out Designator. This is just for Maxi Emblem Emblema Oath. So this card places a Satorion card into our Spell and Trap card zone, but then we're locked into our extra deck or let's just set one of our Centurion Spell and Traps. The, the Centurion Spell and Traps kind of suck. I ain't going to lie. But it, it is an option if we already have our spell and trap card zones filled and we just, you know, don't want to lock ourselves into Centurion. Then we have Wake Up Centurion. If we have a, a monster in our spell and trap card zone, we can special summon a, a Centurion token that's level four or eight. And it pretty much can only be used for synchro material. And then if this card's in our graveyard, we can banish it to send one Centurion card for our deck to the graveyard, except for itself which I don't use very often, but you can send um, Emeth away or you can send out uh, uh, Phalanx. Phalanx, um, Centurion Phalanx effect is target one monster on the field, banish it. And if you do during the next standby phase, the next turn expose someone that um, banish monster to his owner's field. And, um, but his graveyard effect is we can target one Centurion Synchro monster and special summon it. And triple copies of Infinite Permanence just to max out our hand traps you can run are different hand trap combinations. Uh, this is just what I run, but you can also run Ghost Spell, you can run Ghost Mourner, you can run more copies of a Fed Veiler if you want. There's a ton of options. Um, then the extra deck, I went over some of it, but Star's Dragon Sephir is mostly just sloppy seconds to Cosmic Blazar Dragon, because Cosmic Blazar Dragon it is an Omni Negate for almost anything in the entire game and it trips itself away like Stardust. The new Stardust Dragon, he, he's really good. And um, Red Supernova Dragon, if our opponent activates a monster effect, we can just banish their whole field away, just for free. Um, and then the Crimson Dragon, the Crimson Dragon lets us cheat out our 12s because these other guys don't need fanciness. They just need one tuner, one plus non-tuner, the rest of the guys deal. One synchro tuner, one synchro tuner, and or three tuners, we don't care about that here. We just want to summon Centurion, like Auxilla or um, Legati Legatia, Legasha, one of the two, um, and draw or search and then Crimson Dragon and cheat out one of our big boys. Um, and then we also run one Super Star Slayer, just so that our going second turn is just slightly better. One copy of Artemis, so we can link it, link our cards away. Uh, Okay, so that's pretty much, and then this card is just to link a card away, just so we can send our spellcaster to the grave if, as needed. And then last we have SP Little Knight, 
SP Little Knights just here so that we can have another play with Artemis into SP Little Knights pretty much. So um, there goes the deck profile. Let's hop into some games. Uh, of course, we open Sideframe Driver in our hand. Oh my god, we literally don't have. Yeah, this, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I switched decks. We immediately just, I don't need, I only need one card to go off. That's, that's all that I need. Hey, look, we have a playable hand this time. Let's just start off with this so we can't get max seed. Cool. Um... Your effect to search doesn't really matter if it's negated. Um, so for wake up centurions, like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that was, this is probably the best play then. Let's go for the fancy 12. And let's add Phalanx to our hand. Set a card face down. And then let's put you into scale and that's our turn so this board doesn't look very fancy i know but it is actually like hugely detrimental to our opponent if if, if they are playing blue eyes we can easily play around it got to turn this boy on the first card that activates so right now all of our face of spell trap cards are protected Search and add synchro summon. Before the Crimson Dragon. Another fuel spot to our hand just in case things go south. I was like, Blazar is always a safe play. Green guy heal. Draw infinite impermanence. That's what I want to see right now. Let's go. Just to protect our board from being destroyed. Stardust, the fear divine dragon. Okay. 
First time it will be destroyed is not. Battle. Game. Attack them directly! Uh, no, let's say no to that. You survive. Come back, my crimson or my crimson dragon. Cosmic Blazar Dragon. Ah, this perfect. Yeah, this certainly is equalizing it. So let's see what I resolved a max C. I'm I'm paying the price. Um I'm not a fan of this deck. I don't think you have that great of a matchup into it. Mentor Takudaka. Uh uh uh. Let's get up here. Okay, that might be. Okay, he, he for sure has that trap in hand. For sure. I see what you're rocking with. Come on, something good. Let's go with Pot of P. Let's do six. One, two. Uh, let's go with Oath. Discard this card. You have it in your hand, but okay. He's playing the fuse. Uh, keep in mind about columns. Rem what he does now. Just to turn on him. I will get this field spell. Eh -eh. Okay. Goodbye, Tuna. Let us summon you.
I got rid of this. We gotta get rid of the small fry. In our turn. You can let him die. Keep this in our hand. Let's get rid of you. What are we going to do about the second one? That's... That's good. Oh, it only negates monster effects. You thought you outplayed me. But in fact, I had you since the start. Monsters, not spells and traps. At the field spell to our hand. Guard Gargoyle, put down level four, battle, in phase! You want me to gate monsters, not spells and traps. Not monster cards with, that happen to have the same name as the spell or trap card. Oh my gosh, this car can't come back because it can't be special summoned. It must be special summoned properly. Oh, I have a card for that one. I summon the Crimson Dragon! There is honor in this loss, brother. Cosmic Blazar Dragon! No need to play around. First, Centurion Auxilla, attack him directly! Cosmic Blazar, aim him! So, um, hopefully this won't be the last time we see Centurions. I really enjoy this deck. Um, but, you know, this... It does have its limitations, and it, honestly, you... You should probably run a few tuners or Synchro 10s. I don't run any Synchro 10s, I, or 8s, or 10s. I run only 12s, mostly because I think that is hilarious, and I love summoning 12s. But I want to thank everyone for stopping by. I really appreciate all the support. And I hope you guys have a great day. Please like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.